And we continue now with former Clinton advisor Dick Morris. Dick, what are the, yeah, let me move question. on one other point. But how the only defense, and you've discussed this at length, is there's a very important runoff December 2nd in the state of Georgia. If Al Franken, and I argue, and I have all of these different uh, uh, ballots that he's questioning, that clearly are Norm Coleman ballots. Clearly. Right. And he's questioning right. them because he's trying to litigate his way into the Senate seat. And my question is, so if Saxby Chambliss doesn't win in Georgia, this gives we're, we're them uh, the, their magic number of 60. Yeah. The Republican Party is dead at, at that point. It has no role at all to play because you won't have 60. You'll have 60 votes in the Senate for the Democrats. And I've been pushing very, very hard for a group called GOPtrust.com that is running a million dollars of ads in Georgia to elect Chambliss and defeat the Democrat. Now, in the last couple of days, some of the liberals have lashed back at me, claiming that somehow I'm getting paid by this group. But the fact is that all they've done is buy ads on my website, like they buy ads in the New York Times. And I'm no, no, no more in cahoots with them than the New York Times is. Uh, and this has all been fully disclosed in their disclosure statements. But I won't be intimidated by those groups. It is crucially important that every American who cares about the free enterprise system go online as soon as this show is over and Alan makes his announcement and <laughs> get online to GOPtrust.com and give uh. Chambliss the money he needs to win. Your whole future depends on it. Wait, but are you fundraising for Chambliss by doing that? Yeah, I mean, yes, darn right I am. Uh, I, and, and give to Chambliss, too. Uh, when the whole future <laughs> of the country is at oh, stake look, on this, uh, darn right I'm fundraising first for of all, I